Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So the arena for Colossus and Deadpool X-Force is over. Round two is done. I didn't go for either of them. I already have them in my roster. But we're going to go take a look at the leaderboards and see if we recognize any names of our friends, give them some shout outs and that sort of thing. Uh, and I apologize for the lateness of this video. It should have been out last night, but I wanted to get the arena done a little bit early. And I went to bed, fell asleep, and didn't get this done. I also have a war video that I wanted to get out today uh, that I haven't done yet uh, that I'll be doing a little bit later. So let's uh, dive in. And let's go over here. And uh, you can see I'm at 3 million. I'm going for the four star, not the five star for round one. So I'm at 3 million in the four star featured. I'm uh, gonna just run my six stars here to get the 5,000 uh, shards. Um, the T1 alpha popped up, so I went and got that one done. And I will most likely get the four star uh, basic done uh, sometime this morning. But I'm actually stopping. I still have uh, four, uh, five stars that I could run in this uh, four star featured arena. But I'll just save that for um, stream time today. So, all right, let's head on over here. And I got the 5,000 five star shards. I always do. Um, the three star, not really exciting anymore since they uh, give you the three star featured at the top milestone of all the featured arenas. So since I get the milestones uh, all the time for the featured arenas, I get him like three times. You know, whatever the three star featured is, I get three times. All right. And so we're going to start off with the, yeah, we're going to start off with the uh, four star basic, which was Deadpool X Force. See if we see anybody that wants this guy. Now, he is not good. He's just not good. Uh, but a funny story. Uh, when I first got him as a four star, I didn't know that there was a difference. Uh, I didn't know there were more than one Deadpool in the game. And, of course, the one thing I know about Deadpool was his crazy regen. And I used to hear people talking about just how good his regen was. And uh, so I'm like, okay, when I pulled him, I was so excited. I was like, yes, all right, you know. And I ranked him up. Now, uh, I hadn't looked at any of his abilities or anything like that. And I ranked him up. But I noticed when I started using him, you know, that he wasn't regening. And I'm like, what's wrong? Is that his signature ability or something? What's going on? So um, I remember asking my alliance, I'm like, what is up with this Deadpool? Um, is he broken? What's going on? And that's when I discovered that there were two Deadpools. And I had the worst one, the one that doesn't regen. I'm like, why would you add a, a champion like this in here without a regen? Deadpool, why would you do that? Uh, Gray Wolf, congratulations, man. I didn't get it. Still don't get it. Um, definitely one that needs a rework. Now, um, he has a synergy with uh, Nick Fury that is desirable. However, as a four-star, you're not going to be able to bring him in to um, Act 6. So, or at least uh, the early parts of Act 6. Um, Trying to remember. Yeah, I think all of Act 6. I don't remember if you can bring four stars into Act 7. I think you can. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, so the four star is not that desirable. Unless you're just wanting the um, collection. Uh, or if you're at that point where four stars are still, you know, your top champs then a four-star Nick Fury, along with uh, this Deadpool X-Force, if you run suicides, is a beautiful thing. But otherwise, no, he's just not good. Uh, Black Gamer, congratulations. 
So the other Deadpool, I learned, could only be purchased, pretty much. Uh, you had to purchase uh, some ticket or something like that. And then that only gave you entry into an arena which you had to run. So even if I was tempted back then to get a ticket so that I could try to get this uh, Deadpool, I didn't have the roster to put up a score to get him. So it didn't matter. And uh, um, I think since I've been playing, they had that arena, I'm trying to remember, once? I'm trying to remember if there was a second time, but I don't know. All right. Sorry if I missed your name because I sure was thinking about something else and was not looking at the names. Just kind of scrolling up here. Just this last bit. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I missed anybody. If I did, I'm sorry. Just leave a comment and let me know. All right. Now, four star featured. And it's Colossus. Black Gamer number four. You wanted that Colossus. Now, Colossus went from zero to hero. He was not good. He was a meme champion. People used to laugh at him, talk about him. Uh, when you got him, you were like, oh my goodness. But, Kabam fixed it. He got a rework that made him a beast. Uh, I considered him the first true tank in the game. And tank, that term, uh, basically, when you think of a tank, a regular tank in the army, you think of something that has a lot of defense and offense. Now, in a lot of MMOs, they call tanks, and usually those are just meat shields. They don't do good damage, but they can take a lot of damage. That's not really a true tank, right? So Colossus, he now has crazy damage and can take a lot of damage. Um, he's not the only one, but he was the first one that I was uh, able to solo uh, the Winter Soldier in Realm of Legends on auto fight. Now with him, I did have to work my way up to a special three, fire the special three off, turn on auto fight, and let it go. Not many even now can do that. There are a couple that can do it without any ramp up or anything like that, but not too many. So he is still a beast. His immunities, mm. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, Colossus, even as a four-star, if that's who you have right now, is worthy. Worthy of picking up, ranking up. Uh, I remember in the comics one time, this is a long time ago. It's been a while since I've uh, read the comics. Lord Emperor Slav. Congratulations. Um, but I remember in the comics up until that time, you didn't see Colossus's true power because he was always very careful. Uh, he was very polite. They'd be fighting. And you're just like, oh my goodness, the fights would take a while, you know. And uh, in this one fight, uh, the X-Men, I forget who they were fighting. Um, but they were fighting everybody, you know, different places. And he was fighting this opponent. And, of course, the fight was taking forever because that's, you know, what we expected from him. And I think Kitty Pride had phased and someone canceled her phase in the middle of, like, a rock or a wall or something like that, which, of course, is not good. Uh, Grey Wolf, congratulations. And she screamed. And when Colossus heard her scream, his fight was over in an instant. I believe he snapped the guy's back. I, I can't remember exactly, but the fight was over. And I remember reading that and I'm just like, whoa, what? Because that was the first time I had ever seen Colossus actually use that strength. And he destroyed him. I mean, he just, that, the fight was over. He was like, crack, and then went on. 
to go see about her. I was like, okay, faves. Congratulations, 192, cool, cool. Just made that top 200. All right, so last one. That's the score that I put up. The more six stars I get, the easier that is, as well as the five stars, because it used to be that I could run my five stars just one round through my five stars, and then my six stars from that point on, and I would just barely have like 22 and a little bit. Um, but my roster grew. I got quite a few champions in a short period of time, like seven new champions in one week. It was it was insane. And so now when I go through all of my uh, five stars, and then I just run my six stars from that point on, and I also got new six stars, this is kind of the score that uh, I can put up now, and it's just going to keep going up. Um, running my six stars usually takes me around 40 minutes. Uh, and I've already run the, in the current arena, I've already run them for today too. Black Gamer, again, what is up, man? You wanted that Colossus, man. Got him in all, I think, uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember. I think I saw you in every single arena. Nice. And number 13. So I know you wanted that Colossus. I don't blame you. Rest in peace, Debo. All right. Mm, 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 mm. see who else wanted this colossus and i i know i told anybody who didn't have colossus to grab colossus i was pretty sure he was gonna go low he is a older champion uh i had him as a five star and awakened for a long time he was one of the early five stars that I got. Elite Samurai, congratulations. Number 70, cool, cool. Yeah, I didn't miss you that time. Watching for you now. Um, I had him awaken and I took him first to rank two because I wanted all of my five stars to rank two. And then later when you were able to rank five, five stars and all that, I wanted everyone at rank three. And if you didn't see my video, uh, end of the year, I finally got all of my five stars to rank three. All right, Ben Riley, congratulations. Uh, but I had him at rank three, you know, a while back uh, because, you know, I wanted everyone there. And my theories or the way that I, I did things when it came to uh, ranking my champions up, I would often rank up champions that were very low in damage because, of course, I rank them up. It'll help their damage out a little bit. Like Groot, I took him to rank three uh, quickly. There are some champions that were just fine. You know, it's still all arena champions, right? Um, but if one arena champion did lower damage than the other, I want to rank the one that does lower damage up so they can get their damage up and, and make it you know, make the fights go faster when I do use them in the arena. Uh, so some of them, like Hitmonkey, when I pulled Hitmonkey, uh, I didn't get him to rank three very quickly because at rank two, he was killing it. He was tearing folks up at rank two. Uh, so I kind of prioritize uh, the lower damage uh, champions. But everybody is ranked three now. And when they did the rework for Colossus, I took him to rank five. No regrets. Uh, a lot of times uh, I have him on defense these days, but I've also used him in uh, uh, questing, in event quests. So yeah, he's definitely not just an arena champion. Very, very useful. All right, guys. So um, that's the top 200. And of course, the top 300 get the champion. That's a recent change Kabam made. Uh, eventually, I'm going to stop saying recent, uh, but uh, they made that change. So 100 people that we don't see got the champion. If you're one of those, or even if you got the champion and I didn't call your name out, uh, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what score you put up and what ranking you got. 
All right, so take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.